A while ago, I made this post telling people to comment who I should build in LEGO. So in this video, I'll be building 25 of them, painting and designing to make them as realistic as possible. Starting with Deadpool. Recently, Wolverine and Deadpool dropped and it broke records. Also, LEGO only made one Deadpool minifigure a while back, making it really expensive. I started off by grabbing detailed red legs and a torso from Star Wars Sith Trooper. I decided to paint the mask of Deadpool. This custom turned out really great. But now there's only 1 out of 25 minifigures that we've built. So now on the Mario characters. I chose two famous ones, Mario and Princess Peach. Here's Mario. I added his iconic mustache, and for Peach, I used this queen minifigure from one of the CMFs. Huh? Both of these look great, just like the Shrek. Well, kind of. I painted on this one too. I'm sorry, minifigures. This one was exciting to build though because Shrek is one of the best movies of all time. I painted his whatever this is and then the head, which took forever because of how much coats it took. For some reason, I did better than I expected. Lego really needs to make a Shrek set soon, just like a Mr. Beast one. Bad timing, I know. I first got this black torso and navy blue legs. Then I actually printed out his logo and taped it onto the torso for some of his merch. I got this head, but I recommend using this Daily Bugle cab driver's head for his beard. Lastly, two things were missing. Cars like this Lambo and Ferrari and money. Basically Jimmy's personality. Now time for a speed run full of comments. I built George Lucas in Lego. He's the director of all the Star Wars and Indiana Jones movies. I built Fortnite skins as well. Jonesy and Wanna get Whittle. These look cool, especially with the rocket launcher and the detailed me for your parts on them. Here's Matt Pat with Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> I even built Ronaldo. I gave him this handsome face that looks like he's been mewing ever since he got out of the womb. Here's his iconic Sui. Guardians of the Galaxy is such a great funny movie. I had to transfer him 30,000 units! <laughs> and two comments wanted me to make Yandu and Kraglin. This was hard because they both have these red mohawks that controls an arrow. I used firefighter helmets for them. I had to paint Yandu's head because it's blue on stream. I put them in this iconic ship from the movie and they're off. LEGO just released this Zelda set, and it's questionable. This guy wanted me to make links from the game. I painted his legs, torso, hair, and hat to match this picture. This was a long process, but I wanted this minifigure to be the best one I've ever made yet. And after finishing it, I can agree. One of my favorites so far. After I read this comments, you should make Lord of the Rings characters like Saroon and Gandalf. No pieces from the actual minifigures. I start with Gandalf, and as shown in the pieces on the screen. I didn't get these from the original one. Here's the same thing for a saw room. I haven't watched the movie series, so I might get the names wrong. Sorry about that. Apparently, the actor by Tony Stark is playing as Doctor Doom in the newest Avengers movie. So let's build Doctor Doom. This one is very fun to make, especially with the amount of detail on it. Lego had already made one, but it's very expensive like the Deadpool movie figure. I used unique pieces like this emerald chest plate from Minecraft, a cape, and even this army helmet. This looks great, but I want you to give this minifigure a rating from 1 to 10. Tell me in the comments. This person wanted me to make Titan from Megamind. You know, the nobody who thought he was somebody. Just like Dr. Doom minifigure, I had a whole lot of fun painting this. Even its mask. It looks just like the nobody from the movie too. Another superhero-ish is Spider-Boy. Not Spider-Man, Spider-Boy. This Spider-Boy looks really cool. I only had to paint once more on the head for its mask. Now I swing through the city with Peter. More like Peter Griffin. This common wanted me to make him as long as Brian, his dog. The duo is crazy. SML is a popular puppet channel, and they wouldn't be SML without Jeffy, the dumb kid with a pencil up his nose. This was okay of a minifigure, but please get this guy some help. For the last three minifigures, here's Aang from the Avatar of the Last Airbender. I thought this dragon looked really cool beside it. You know, it fits the theme. I painted his blue arrow on his head, which turned out good. Next, a teacher for Sigmas, unlike me, is Andrew Tate. This was very simple to build because he wears a casual outfit. Lastly, for my Brawl Stars fans out there, I built Mortis and Lego. It looks good, but for some reason, it feels like it's missing something. Comments if you know. Thank you so much for watching. School just started, but I still have to hit up that YouTube grind.